Welcome. Welcome. Okay, so I didn't think this was going to come anytime soon. It's an American import and to be honest with you, I was wanting to do more of the new stuff. So I'm going to try and do it the old stuff, or am I? Just to get it out there, an old school waffle. Quick video for Mason the bastard. He knows what he did. Oh. You want it weird, you want it wacky, you want it wonderful. I'm trying to do this. It's half eleven at night. Okay, the turtles. Oh, look at them. Each individual postcard of the movie. Hello and welcome to this video, this one right here, about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Take four. This is the fourth intro. You've just seen snippets, snippets of me trying to get this right so quick. It's late at night, I've been jumping all over the place. You want it weird, you want it wacky, you fucking got it. They limit it, right? Limit it, right? I've just been standing here and having a waffle about a video shop, right? Okay. So waxworks are at it again, and you know the turtles. There's something weird I can talk about here because the turtles vinyl got originally got about four different variants of it because they did every turtle color, and the prices are just mentally through the roof. And when me and Brit got together, the turtles vinyl is one of the first things she actually got me, uh, and it, was, it might be one of my birthday presents. And she hunted high and low to try and get Donatello colors. Unfortunately, she didn't, but I was just happy to have it. I think there's something magic about the score. It's quite dark, it's creepy. It's got weird extracts of Splinter. And then it's it doesn't have uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle power on there. You've got to buy the original vinyl. Hello, I'm still here. Walking off camera. Because I find it actually on that as well. And uh, MC Hammer's on here, you know, but it's the um, Turtle Power Partners in Crime um, song. You would think that was on it, it's not. And then if you get the second one, and um, they teased that, and they brought it out, and if you watch that video, Big Dave pops up on that, and I had a, a fault. So it's always quickly to unbox Waxworks. It's the main reason I want to unbox it at night, because I've had problems, Bloodsport, I never said it on camera with the Bloodsport stuff, but Bloodsport was faulty. So I've got two copies of Bloodsport, and, oh, actually, I think that is an outtakes. And then, well, the turtles they just sent us the vinyl replacement so blood spot i got the whole thing again which is still sitting there and then i got turtles so i give it to big dave just as a present so the thing is when they announced they were going to do the third one all of a sudden they were going to do all three again so all the people who sat on the alternative covers of turtles you know like the prices have gone up and down like that it's like crazy so they've done brand new colors for the first one brand new color for the second one the second one what they've redone is like this cosmic purple thing it looks lush but i'm not double dipping i'm just going to stick with my originals so, that, so they're both here so i have recently you listened to these and as well as you watch me talk on razor and last one in video i also use these the backdrops when we're talking about the figures so again although i'm not going deep and down in there i'm just waffling away I decided to sell my Phantasm box set after years because I haven't watched it ever since I did the video about five, six years ago. And I was moving stuff around and it just got me way. So the Phantasm box set pretty much bought this. So pretty much ended up, you know, getting rid of some of it to get some of it, which is not like me normally, boy, but Big Dave, oh, sorry. So anyway, Big Dave ended up buying all three in a custom over a hundred dollars. So fuck knows what the shipping is and customs, but I didn't get any customs on this. It is completely and utterly. Oh my god, nails there shut. So oh well, I could have just used the tag. So, but again, I just want to get this open out of the way and back to some more waffling. So these are always packed really nice. You don't get many freebies. Lollipop. Now, oh, there we go. Ooh, look at that. That, that was a nice little catch on camera, that. That's a really nice postcard. Fucking gremlins again. Recently, if you've been watching my videos, 
this camera needs to back it up and I keep taking bits off it. And I just, oh my God, I think I need a new memory card to be honest with you. Um, that little thing that came flying out, was it a Mofra thing? We'll pack it by Luke, packaged by Luke. So yeah, it's pretty cool to get in there. So uh, I was there you know, again, shot myself in the foot, saying I don't get any freebies. There's nothing else in there. So here we are, the vinyl. Dun, dun, dun. So I paid no attention. It is the coloured vinyl, so pretty cool. New artwork by Kevin Eastman. Again, just read the last Roman. Ronan. Um, probably not the strongest out of the three of the movies. Um, Casey Jones and Hit Ron Neal on the back. Casey Jones returns. Um, and also Corey Feldman returns as Donatello. So I've seen this at the pictures back in the day and it is sitting behind us on big box VHS because Feldman does play Donatello on it. Really cool artwork on like that. So yeah, the one where they go in time. Got a horse on the front cover. But yeah, pretty cool. Only one vinyl. Um, again, I don't know, I can't really think much of the third movie when it comes to its score. Um, as I say, um, I'm just gonna, it'll have hopefully Japanese elements into it. I would guess so. And then, yeah. Original motion picture soundtrack. Mine. Lovely print, lovely print. And wow, look at that, that's awesome. Um, I can't really use this going forward in my uh, videos. I mean, it's a pretty cool backdrop there, but obviously it's kind of, you know, turtles falling through time and space. Um, gatefold, doesn't need to be a gatefold because there's nothing down there. I've totally forgotten what color this is as well, so it's pretty cool. Um, no digital download code. I bought, to be honest with you, um, I've got a new series. It's probably not out by the time this comes out. Um, I got this recently. This, this, this. I actually paid more for that than this vinyl. And that should have been brought on vinyl, silver bullet score. Crazy, crazy. Um, so what colour is the vinyl? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, wow. Bit Whoa, it's a weird one. So it's meant to be like a time loop. So I'll have to try and give us a player this week. Um, as I say, um, I know I have pretty hard much rush this video out there, but it's a bit cosmic in there, it's a lot different. Uh, but at least I've got all three, because at the end of the day, you hummed and hard, and it might be the rarer out the three that they don't print much more. Um, but we're still going to be talk on Razor video. If you look at that, I'd ordered them over a year ago. And apparently they weren't worth mass producing. But yeah, see you in the outtakes. Sorry about the turtles. Uh, we're down now. <laughs> so, an alternative outtake our film first. Hopefully we might have Big Dave, or at least a picture of Big Dave, with all three vinyls. What? Two. And number three. Are we rolling? Are we rolling? Okay, so normally with a weird, wacky, and wonderful when we talk about waxworks, we go a bit crazy, blood sport crazy. But, I'm not gonna lie, ain't got time. It's half 11 at night. I said I was gonna be five minutes. I've just had a massive waffle about the tournament again. And once I start talking about the tournament, I talk about the tournament. Anyway, off that ran completely different batshit crazy. Um, <laughs> one of my friends sent me a link and he went, look, they're bringing out a third. So when they say bringing out a third, I'm like, ah, if you're a collectionist. Never gonna see the light of day, is it? We got yet? Green and orange. You want it weird, you want it wacky, you want it wonderful. I'm trying to do this at half eleven at night. It's a red nail, isn't it? Oh, the last one's double, this one's only a single line. 
No outtakes really. Got them all three of them together. You imagine if this bring out the necker figures and they had the suits and that and charge a fortune for them. Fuck that. The thing I think the problem with the third movie is, right, it doesn't have a legit bad guy. You know, you think Turtles in Time, you think the video game. You know, like you know what I mean, and like they had no one. Do you know what I mean? It's just like let's make up an that like the bad guy who looks like a discount Rick Mill playing bad guy, it's just like that. And Casey Jones back there, he's not Casey Jones back and it's like, oh come on. Like, there's so much they could have gone for. If you're going to talk about the third movie and the new generation, they just shot the load too much. They should have built Krang up right to the end and went, right, Krang's coming in the third one. Boom. You know what I mean? So, they're just, I think, no bad guy. No bad guy, no Jim Henson. You know what I mean? Because that's why they look really creepy. You put Feldman's back in it, I guess. That's all the out I've got to see 12 o'clock at night. Bye. Hello and welcome to this video, this one right here, about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now I'm not going to keep you too long and I would love this to be one of the new kind of videos where I take time out and really have a look at the artwork and stuff like that and pay time with the effort and the sounds and creep around the house because it's half eleven at night. I've just had about two times, two starts, two waffles about this and couldn't get it right. I didn't know where I wanted to go because I wasn't planning on it coming. I wasn't planning on doing some random unboxings, turning lights and everything upside down. But I haven't got time to do it for the rest of the week. And I'll not even get around to editing this for about six days. Six, seven days, might be more than that. So, there shouldn't be much of a rush to this, but it's here. I want to open it. I want need to open it. So what have I got? So, um, it's a collectionist. That's been popping around for years. They did multiple colour versions of it and really good artwork. And then about a year ago, they did the Secret of the Use. And um, Big Dave popped up in this in that video. We did a video for that. Um, just one vinyl, that one. Didn't get the shred of purple. And then Toko and Razor, pretty much recently, I got them. So it took some time and effort. Now I do listen to these um, weird, because it's a score, then you've got a couple of other songs from the movies and then voice samples, splinter story and shit like that. So they had the two out anyway. Um, Waxworks started teasing not long ago, mind, about two or three weeks ago. So this has happened really quick. And um, um, <laughs> uh, Matt was uh, egging us on. you going, oh, you got to get it if you got free. So they've announced to do free. So I'm running out of steam here. Right, so I'll let you off this time, Mason. Happens again, warning you.